Okay, here we go. Approximately 6,000 years ago. You see, I don't believe that creation is billions of years old. Um, I don't believe that. I believe what the Bible clearly says, that creation is a little bit over 6,000 years old. Praise God, some of you believe differently. That's incredible. I love it. I don't want us to be robots. I want you to think. I want you to meditate. I want you to pray. I want you to study. I want you to learn. I want you to disagree with me. God's Son created a number of spirits that is too large to mention. Billions times billions times billions of trillions times trillions of spirits were created in the blink of an eye. In the blink of an eye. Yet you and me don't even trust this guy that can create this number of spirits in one second. In one single second, they could be created. And I don't even trust him to sell my condo, which I still haven't sold in over seven months. And a vast number of these spirits, too large to mention, didn't want to follow God's plan. They rebelled. You know, I've had workers under me rebel against me when I was the boss. And there was nothing I can do to them because the owners didn't back me up. But that's not true with Jesus, because Jesus is the boss, and he and his dad, there's two of them, are the owners. And Jesus snapped his finger and turned turned these spirits a number too large to mention, too large to imagine, into the most hideous of monsters. In your imagination, in my mind, we are not able to imagine how evil they are. God did not create us in a way where we are able to imagine their their depravity. We can't imagine it. We can't think it. They are evil far, far beyond anything we can think. And there was a war in the heavens. And the demons were winning the war, by the way. If you haven't watched my video on this topic, use the search window and go find it. The demons were winning the war against the angels. They beat the crap out of them. What did God do? He sent grace. He sent grace to the angels. And they turned around the war and they defeated the demons and kicked them out. And from that time on, they have spread out all over earth. They spread out all over the skies. This this happened thousands of years ago. Not millions, thousands. They spread out all over our solar system. Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Pluto. Any other planets that we don't know about. They didn't stop there. They spread out all over our galaxy working on their new plans, working on their new desires. You see, they have lusts inside of them that they're burning to fulfill. They're burning to be pleased. 
They're burning to have their orgasms. They're burning to be fulfilled in their murderous desires. It's killing them. It's torturing them. So they spread out not only all over our galaxy, they spread out over all the galaxies. They spread out all over our universe working on their plans. Their plans to corrupt humans, the animals, the trees, plants, vegetation, fruit, vegetables, the meat, which I mentioned in the animals, the birds, the air, the water, what we eat, what we drink, what we smoke, what we see, what we swallow, swallow, what we smell, what we touch, what we use, what we, what we put on our body, what we put on our hair. It's all poisoned. It's all corrupted. All of it from the toothpaste to the shampoos to the soaps to the dishwashing soap to the comet to the cleansers to the sprays to the bleach. It's all corrupted. It's all a part of the curse. It's all killing us. It's all changing us one way or another. But that's not enough. That's not nearly enough. For the plans they have, that's only the start. It is my belief, I can't prove this one, but it's my belief they spread out to other universes. They, it's my belief they built wormholes, stargates, and all kinds of incredible technology to be able to instantly travel to wherever they want to go, not only for them, but for the starships that they're having humans build for them. You see, they crash-landed some of their anti-gravity starships throughout history, changing people, changing technology, changing the way we think and feel. And per God's plan, this is all God's plan. This isn't Satan's plan. Everything is God's plan. Everything. Through God's plan, the demons were working with certain countries. I'm not going to go back in time, but it looks like they were working with Egypt and the Babylonians. But let's forget about that. They were working with Nazi Germany. I heard rumors they were working with Japan. That Japan's been up to the moon. That Japan's out in space. They're working with the uh, uh, Americans, the Russians, Israel, Australia, England, possibly, um, possibly Canada, and other countries. The demons are having them build a fleet of starships and motherships so big, you're not going to believe it. So big, I'm not going to believe it. I've heard reports of motherships 100 miles long, 300 miles long, 600 miles long. There are photographs of them showing up on YouTube now. God is having the truth come out. He's having the truth come out. There's photographs of them out in deep, deep space. Hundreds of miles long. They built colonies. Who's they? The demons working with humans. It's all God's plan. They built colonies. They built cities. They built manufacturing. They've been abducting human beings, taking them out into space, taking them out onto the motherships, taking them out onto the smaller motherships, capital ships, spaceships. Some of them they're eating, some of them they're raping, some of them they're torturing, some of them they're drinking all their liquids, some of them they're using as slave labor, and you think you have it hard where you go to work making 25 an hour. I think I have it hard at home unemployed. We don't have it hard. They have it hard. 
And it's my opinion, they built hundreds of thousands of spaceships. Why? To fulfill their lusts, to get ready for the war, for all their um, evil plans that they've developed. The demonic plan is so vast, we can't possibly know it. I would be shocked if any of us even know a microscopic small amount of it, including myself. If you take myself and three other people that I know of and put us all together, we don't even know one millionth of the plan that the demons are working on. Not one millionth of it. So what's the end game to completely corrupt humanity, to completely change us from the inside out, to put us through as much suffering, torture, agony, misery, despair, depression, fear, anxiety, lust, and suicide, anger, and rage that they possibly can. Is there more? Yeah, it's to totally destroy God's creation. Is there more? Yeah, it's to go to war against Jesus and possibly the angels. And I say the word possibly against the angels because I asked the Lord about it And I got multiple answers, but he just told me right now on the microphone, yes, it's to go to war against Jesus, Jesus, excuse me, and his angels. They've been prepping for war for thousands of years. They have hundreds of thousands of starships that can most likely fly as fast as the angels can and most likely have weapons that can harm the angels and hurt them. There is a trillion times more going on than any of us could ever imagine. Humble yourselves, child of God, please. Humble yourself. You don't know anything. I don't know anything. None of us know anything. We know nothing. Amen.